You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Kingsguard. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know I'm now an affiliate of Green Man Gaming. What that means is that there's gonna be a link in the description of each video. Within that link, you go to the website, you get discounts on all the latest and greatest games, and I get commission for whatever y'all buy. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up. Let's go. Alright, I am really tired right now. I've had a bit of a long day, so my delivery of these lines is not going to be pitch perfect, so... You could barely breathe as you were pressed into the ground. Desperately, you tried to move, but their collective weight was too much. Get the ropes and tie him up. Get a lively little mousy here. You kick with your legs, desperate connect with someone as a rope coiled around your ankles and bound them together. Help! Mm! A dingy rag was plunged into your mouth and tied around your head, cutting off your cry for help. Despite the danger you were in, you were still slightly concerned where it had been, where it had been, and wished that they had at least used a clean one. Now, now, no yelling. Let's use our indoor voices. No need to shout when you're all within earshot. Well, what do you three? What do you? What do you three still doing standing around for? Go keep watch. No one wants sniffing around in here. Yes, sir. And use. Pick up that gold he dropped. I don't want a single coin left behind. Right away! The rats scurried about to, about to follow their leader's orders while your pleas remained muffled by the gag. Should have just listened to us, so we wouldn't be needing to give you the extra special treatment. Sit tight and it'll be all over, and who knows? It might not just ruin that pretty face of you used for that little stunt. You turned your head to meet the gaze of the boss, who took another puff from his cigar and let the ashes fall down on your face. He seemed so pleased with his position, but you know he would, ha you know he would have it coming. The Andrus would soon be here and beat the crap out of this damn rat, and then he'd be sent into a dungeon for the rest of his miserable life, if he even deserved that. I just wonder what was taking the cat so long. He continued to squirm, hoping to wiggle you right out of your restraints, but all you gained were rope burns. The rope pull was pulled taut one last time, and you could feel your limbs beginning to grow cold and numb. <clears throat> okay, boss, he ain't going nowhere now. Good, now frisk him. I want to know what else he's got hiding under that cloak. At the boss's request, the, rat, the rats began their search, tearing off your cloak and kneading their hands into your body, hoping to find any other riches on hidden on you. His dirty, sharp claws, cr cracked claws, kneaded into you eagerly, causing you, to, causing you to wince in pain. You tried to kick with both your feet to get the bandit away, but you had to admit that, you had to, you had com you had to, that they had you completely restrained. You know it ain't good for your health if you just keep struggling like that. Here it causes gray hairs. He turned to face up the rat once more and wished he was closer to you so, closer to you so he could spit in his face. Just let me and the boys do their job, all right? No sense trying to fight it, cause you ain't getting out of them ropes. Besides, all that coin you scattered, I bet you's got gold coming out of your ears, don't you? Probably pretty heavy we'd be carrying all that. You should be thanking us for lightening your load. Hey, boss, I think I might have found something. Yeah, give it here. You only caught a glimpse, but you recognized the gold gleam and insignia on the medallion that the lackey handed to the boss. It was an item of utmost importance, the insignia of the Yassam royal family. Only those born with royal blood would ever have the honor of holding one. That, and individuals hand-selected personally by the king, as trustworthy allies were ever granted one. Other than Leandros, your personal tutor, Maestro Corello in the king's council, and your father himself, were of the few people in the kingdom who carried one. Presented to the right people, a whole world of privileges opens before you. To any commoner, it was reviewed as another shiny object that could be pawned off for an exorbitant fee. Well now, what have we here? Rhett's eyes went wide as he examined the gold signet in his hand. How did a little mousy like you get your hands on something like this, eh? The large rat knelt down and gripped your chin, forcing you to look into his greedy eyes. So there's more than meets the eye with this little mousy, ain't there? What do you mean, boss? The rat let the pendant drop from his palm and dangled it by its gold chain, reflecting your disheveled hair, dirt-smudged face, and livid expression off its glossy surface. Done quite a bit of shakedowns with the ears, and only ever come across this once. That was just some pretty pendant at first, and pawned it off for some quick coin. Of course, after I sold it, I found out just how rare it really was. You see, only highborns carry these around, and not just any nobles. We're talking royals, those with connections to the big house. Not just anyone is given one. So, uh, boss, then what's it worth? One second, y'all. Drink my water. What's it worth? What's it worth? What's it worth? You can't put a price on something this valuable. But, but boss, I thought you said you sold it. 
Idiot, were you even listening to a word I said? I wouldn't have sold it off if I'd known. So, then why is it so important if it ain't worth anything? I swear it likes talking to a brick wall with you, bozo. Listen carefully. A little trinket like this might be not be worth much to the common man, but to the right buyer. Well, let's just say we could live as royals for the rest of our days. Of course, it's not the sort of thing you can go flashing around. Never give one to a beast man, so we'd have to be careful about who, who to show it to. Wouldn't want anyone thinking we stole it now, would we? He tried to shake your head free from his grip, but, but he kept you still. I need to get restless. It's a very nice present, so I do take care of it from now on, so don't you worry. Of course, now I'm curious how someone so young like you would even have this thing. It's been quite the influential mouse he'd be carrying this around. That coronation or whatever coming up, I hear a lot of nobles have been coming in and out of the castle. Maybe you are one of those. A cousin of the king, perhaps. Or maybe... Eh, what the hell do you want? Can't you see I'm busy here? Well, sorry, b -b boss, b -b we've got trouble. Uh-oh. The beast man dropped your head and stood straight up in shock. Without any support, your chin slammed to the ground. No words were exchanged as the thunderous roar echoed through the alleyway, a sound you were all too familiar with. While the rats seemed to quiver in panic, the howl from beyond renewed your hope. Damn rats, get out of my way! A pair of rats scurried forth from the ends of the alleyway, a look of terror plastered on their faces as they pushed one another out of the way. From another, from around the bend, a shrilling shriek followed after them, stirring the frightened beastmen onwards. Idiots! I told you to keep watch! The rats ignored their boss, charging right past them as though their very lives were at stake while you huddled in a, into a ball to protect yourself from the stampede. What did you do with him? The lone rat struggled forth, limping on one leg that was about to give way. He, he, he's here! They reached forth a weak arm, a cry for help. But no, one stopped, but no one stepped forth to assist. The wounded beast man collapsed onto the ground just seconds before a foot stomped down on his unconscious body. As you turned your gaze upwards, your eyes met with an imposing figure, heaving heavily. A smile crossed your face, knowing that you were saved, but quickly faded when you saw the fire in the man's eyes. Damn, cat! Always showing up to screw, me that, screw up everything! He charged forward, teeth and claws bared. The rat who was pinning you down and frisking you scampered to his feet, eyes shrill shriek escaping his mouth. Since he was about to escape, the larger boss rat grabbed hold of him by his shirt and pulled him back up to the front. Where the hell do you think yours is going? He's clearly outnumbered, so take him down! I don't want to die! Quit his whining and get your ass over there! The kick the, with the kick, the subordinate tumbled forward where he stopped right in the front of the lion. Oh, please be merciful! The rat screamed in agony as his made into a living punching bag for Leandris' fury. I most felt sorry for him as the beastman was beat to a pulp before you. A few times the rat tried to crawl away, but Landers gave him no mercy. In seconds, the rat was knocked out, not even once raising his fist to fight back. The lion huffed, using more energy than was necessary for the ruffian. Kitty always showing up to ruin everything. I really like this music. He looked up at the rat as all but one of his lackeys remained. Yet, he still had a smug look on his face as though he were unfettered by the intrusion. He dropped his cigar on the ground and stamped it out with his boot. Roll it, you deceitful worm! He didn't know how it se he didn't know how, but it seemed as though Leandros actually knew this rat. Despite the position he was in, though, the rat merely chuckled, as though he found all this all amusing. I was like, I'm not blowing this music. How are you to name a to name Colin, I see cat? To what displeasure do I owe this time? Don't give me that crap! I know rodents like you are always like that. Now tell me where he is. He? Don't play dumb. I can smell Jake. I know he's here. Jake? I'll ring a bell. If he's looking for someone, then why don't you try asking him his masked weirdos that keep spying on me? The Anders glanced downwards, and his eyes went wide when he finally noticed you pinned to the ground. Oh, this is the one you've been looking for? We were just uh, working out a, de a bit of a deal, you see. I wanted protection for some coins. You know how dangerous these streets can be. Of course, he was a bit too antsy, so we had to restrain him a bit. Don't you worry. We got this handled, so scurry along now. He's more than wasted enough of my time. Forget about putting you in jail. I'm going to wring your neck myself for this. Jeez, what are you getting so angry over? I wouldn't think he I wouldn't think he's your fiance or something. I suppose I must have struck a nerve. Why he's always gotta be so tense. Well, looks like we gotta cut this short. I'm a very busy man, you see, you don't have time to stick around to play. Like hell you're getting away! Looks like you're up, Louis Luis. What? Just as Leandros was about to charge forward, Roland pushed his last lackey into Leandros' way. Move, rat! Leandros cracked his knuckles as he stared down at the trembling rat. Well, wait, Le Leandros! 
Oh, Landers gave the Beastman no mercy as his punch sent the last minion flying backwards where he cratered into the wall. Roland chuckled from the end of the alleyway as though his operation wasn't full in the slightest. So long, Furball! Get back here, you worm! M my mom The Andres was just about to jump over you before you stopped down to glance at your miserable form. With the gag wrapped around With the gag wrapped around tightly around your mouth, you could only muddle incoherent words. You could tell that he wanted to charge forward, to chase down that rat. He made a disgruntled huff and moved down to free you. The cloth around your mouth was loosened and you spat it out in disgust while your ankles were freed. Before you could even lift yourself off the floor, a pair of arms wrapped around you and brought you to your feet. Ugh. Leon. Huh? Huh? Leon, thank- Damn it, Jake, what the hell were you thinking? Leon, I can explain- Quiet, Jake. Huh? What the hell were you thinking, running off on your own like that? See? This is the kind of mess you can get yourself in when you don't listen to me. But, but I- I don't want to hear it. You always do this, you never follow my orders and always get yourself into trouble. Why do I have to keep- why do I have to be the one to keep you in line? Put a leash around your neck. Oh. What do I have to do to keep you in line? Put a leash around your neck? You're damn near lucky I found you in time. Do you have any idea of the ramifications that they found out who you are? Of what they would do to you? The city is not your damn playground. You could be serious- you could have been seriously hurt. For 15 years I thought you would have at least realized that by now. The damn prince for God's sake. Start acting like one. You never got a chance to defend yourself as Leandrus laid it all out on you. His harsh words pierced through you, through you like icicles, yet they showed no sign of melting. You knew he was right. You had, been, you had been running headlong into danger, even if it was an accident. You. You. Leandrus' breath was hot as steam, his eyes bloodshot, teeth bared, fists clenched, and face an effigy of rage. It wasn't your fault that any of this happened. You just wanted to get away, not to have been bogged down every waking hour by this prince, by, prince, prince, bah, by your princely duties. You are tired of it all. Well, this wouldn't have happened if you had had just left me alone. What? P Father always tells you to keep me in check, but to make sure I never leave the castle, to make sure that I always finish all the food on my plate. I do that so you don't get into trouble. I never asked for your help. I'm sick of it, all right? You follow him like some puppet, always treating me like I'm some kid, like I couldn't, as if I couldn't take care of myself. Like I've got, like you've got no spine, Jake. It pushed him to the edge, and if he was a simmering pot, he was boiling right now. He prepared yourself, flinching and closing your eyes as he raised a hand. It had been years since he hit you. Given his current demeanor, he wouldn't hold back. Rather than a sharp pain, you felt a gentle warmth on your shoulder, a soft, caring touch. I'm this way because I never want to see you get hurt again. Hmm. He opened your eyes slowly, and the look of flur the look of fury had vanished from his face, and his eyes were welling with tears. Oh. The look on his face was enough to make you regret your words. Like family, it was inevitable that you would argue with each other, but deep down inside you still loved him like a brother. It was the one thing that no amount of frustration could ever erase. But Leo oh. You're lifted up off your feet into a crushing bear hug, squeezing the air and life out of you. Leon. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do I always run away? What do I have to do to get you to understand? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Leon, I just... Lion put a lone finger up close to your lips. I know what you're going to say. You say it every year. It's your birthday. You should be allowed one, you should be allowed one day to do with you whatever you want. That doesn't excuse you from your duties as the prince. What would you have done if they found you, if they found out about you? This goes beyond just your safety. If they kidnapped you, then the entire nation would be in danger. But if I had my sword, I could've... This isn't a what-if scenario. You're in real danger there. Those rogues are some of the worst that this city has. Even though we live in a time of peace, there are still those out there who wouldn't think twice to do you harm. There may come a time when you won't, when I won't be there to protect you. I'm sorry, but you still came through. Anders grunted, then stared at the mess he had made. And he did a real number on them, too. I don't think they'll be able to move for a few weeks. That was a mere warning. If they did anything more, you wouldn't even recognize them. And now that they're dealt with, don't you think we'll be getting away from this? Or do you think you'll be getting away from this either? I've already thought of several punishments while looking for you. Uh, I'm sure your father wouldn't like, wouldn't would likely be wishing to hear them as well. But I'm the victim here. Maybe this will be the time you finally stop acting like a child. Then let's just be going. We've got your guests at the castle waiting long enough, and this is hardly the place to talk. I still have to go there. 
It is your party, after all, so it's more than just necessary. You mean my father's party? It's just my birthday disguised as a celebration to his achievements. He doesn't care about all about me. You know that's not true. The Andrew gripped your hand tightly and guided you out of the perilous alley. What about them? I'll get the guards to deal with them later. Damn, Roland never learns. Once I catch him, he'll be in the slammer for a few weeks for this, and I'll be sure to personally keep watch over him. So you knew who he was? Yeah, he's a deceitful rat who skirts the law time and time again. Though now, with most of his lackeys soon to be behind bars, he'll think twice before skittering out in the daylight again. After Leandrus appointed a few city guards to round up the beaten, to round up the uh, beaten rats in the alleyway and threw them into the dungeon, the two of you were on your way back to the town square. And though your run-in with the ruffians allowed, allowed the city to finally catch them and put an end to the frequent shakedowns, it was a bittersweet achievement. On one hand, they managed quite a haul of criminals, so the streets would be safer at the very least safer. But on the other hand, Roland was still on the loose, hiding within the many holes of the city. The Andres was never one to take a loss well, and it was clear to, it was clear just how much his failure infuriated him as he mumbled under his breath the things he would do to that rat. A hand went to your neck where your royal pendant was 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 ripped and given to the rat. Though you didn't really seem to mind it, bringing it up bringing it up now would only increase your punishment tenfold, and that was without him telling your father. Enough was on the lion's mind that he decided to bring it up another day when he super down. Uh, um, 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 um. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. We had like five seconds left. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you're super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.